today we are interviewing for our open assistant manager position. Uh, our old assistant manager, Greg. Uh, it's Greg, it's, it's him right there. Uh, he left us to seek greener pastures, as they say, but all the more power to him. We hate to see him leave, but uh, so that's what we're doing today, actually. Uh, uh, Stacy, can I get the applications for the assistant manager position? Yes, y yes now, please. Thank you. Thank th thanks, Stacy. Sometimes you gotta tell them what you, to do, you know. Tell them exactly what you want. Sometimes they don't, they don't get it up here. Uh, thank you, you Stacy. I'm Stacy. I've been working here for 15 years. Um, I sometimes do their laundry. Uh, let's see here. We have two applicants. Drum roll. Uh, David Marshall graduated from UW Stout with a BA in marketing. Served on the sales team at Target for six years. Okay. Uh, ooh, interests. His interests include biking. Kayaking, water sports, and extreme base jumping. Wow. it's pretty interesting. That sounded pretty extreme. Uh, who else? Let's see here. We got, uh, we got Megan Peterson. Uh, credentials. Graduated from Wharton with a master's in accounting and a degree in business management. Served as head accountant at some firm for Hewlett Packard. Uh, and then assistant manager for two years. Interesting. Well, both seem to be pretty qualified. Uh, next step is to get him in here, uh, get to know him a little bit more. All right. So I hear they're uh, hiring for Glenn spot. Oh, the assistant manager position? Yeah, I, uh, I hope they hire somebody with the uh, assets, if you know what I mean. Nice. Ah, Mr. Marshall? Oh, yeah. Alright, let's give you a resume here. Uh, says you worked at Target for six years. Yep. Uh, could you tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about that? Um, pretty much I just uh, help the customers find some stuff, uh, work the register a little bit, and uh, overall it was pretty chill. Oh, there's something I want to talk to you about. Uh, it says that you're into extreme base jumping. What's, what's that all about? Yeah, I'm glad you asked. Um, pretty much you just go from uh, high places and you just, you just jump and fall and just use the parachute, you know? Wow. Sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, we could go sometime if uh, I get hired. Really? really? I, mean, I mean, I've never gone base jumping before, but yeah, I mean, yeah, we could do that. That'd be awesome. I think uh, that would be pretty sweet. Yeah. I mean, you seem like a pretty good guy. That David guy, he, he seems pretty awesome. I mean, I'd be glad to have him here on our team. I want this job, I think. Uh, Stacy, could you send in uh, Miss Peterson? Uh, thank you. Oh, uh, why don't you tell me about yourself? All right. Well, I have a master's degree in accounting, and then I have a degree in business management from Wharton, which I then used to secure the position of head accountant at several, several Hewlett and Packard firms. And then I was promoted um, to assistant manager. All right. All right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what? What are your interests? What, what are your interests? Well, I like to walk, read, attend the theater. I like to play bingo at the nursing home. Right. Uh, anything, you know, fun out of the ordinary? I, I find that stuff pretty fun. Do, do, do you go base jumping at all? N no. Okay. No on the base jumping. All right, well. 
think that's just about it. That's all I have for you. Do you have any questions? Oh, no, I'm good. Thank you very all right. much. Uh, well, uh, if you go outside, uh, Stacy will see you out. Okay, right, thank, thank you. you. So, anyways, I was watching the game last night. And, well, I mean, those... R hey, look at that. Nice. Well, I think we have two pretty good candidates. Uh, honestly, though, that that Megan was a bit of a bore. Uh, that David guy, though, again, he's just... He has so much energy in him. I mean, he just blows the competition out of the water. I don't know if I should be telling you this, but... I think I'm going to have to go with my gut and hire David. Yeah. Mr. Jefferson, you have a call from corporate? Alright, uh, send it through. Thanks, Stacy. Hello. Gordon? Yeah. You know, we actually just got done with the interviews. Yeah? Really? Well, well what, does that, what does that mean? Really? I am man, hear me roar. The number's too big to ignore. And I'm way too hungry to settle for chick food. Cause my stomach's starting to growl. And I'm going on the prowl for a Texas double whopper. Man, that's good. Oh, yes, I'm a guy. I'll admit I've been fed quiche. Good thing down. The Texas double whopper. He like a man, man. Well, that was a call from corporate. They were all in a fuss because they're worried about the image we give off. Something about a male dominated workplace, whatever that's supposed to mean. So I had to hire Megan. I guess we'll see how she works out. That David guy, though, he would have been awesome. He would have had so much energy in this place. Whatever, I guess we'll just have to deal with another boring workplace, you know, deal with what we got. Yeah, I'll give her a chance, though. I am Megan Peterson. I'm from Hartford, Pennsylvania, and I'm currently the new assistant manager. I don't really know what I'm supposed to say during this. Uh, you just want to tell us uh, how, you're, how you're feeling right now, how to be in the new uh, workspace? Oh, okay. Well, I'm really excited to be here right now. Um, it's going to be quite different from my old job, but I just can't wait to meet everyone. All right, so, Megan, we all settled in here? We got everything? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. All right, everything's in order? Mm -hmm. right. Except I seem to have misplaced my stapler. Why is this person sitting at Greg's desk? This is Greg's oh. desk. Hey Jerry, this is Megan. She's our new assistant manager. But that's not. But she's not Greg. Where, uh, I know Greg? she's she's not Greg. Greg quit. Uh, Wh she's what? our new assistant manager. Since when? I was only uh, gone like a day on yeah, vacation. Yeah, it, it's recent. Greg quit. Uh, it's a surprise to all of us. Uh, we just gotta deal with it and uh, move on. You know? No. Greg left us. Hi, I'm Jerry Perry. Um, I'm not big into poetry because my father was a poet. Just look at my name. That's all I have to say about that. I don't want to talk about it. It makes me quite upset. Otherwise, I've been working here for nine and a half years. It's been a lot of fun. I've had a lot of good fun. But you know, I'm pretty saddened by the loss of one of our fellow co-workers. And you, the one thing that's cheering me up right now is this awesome stapler that I got today. And it was free. Yes, yes you did. I think what we need to do is get everyone in the conference room to introduce you. Okay. Yeah. Suck it up, Jerry. Be a be a man. Come on. This but he's important to us all. It's like losing a brother. Let's be professional here. Is that my stapler? All right. Thank you guys for coming here. Uh, you may have seen a new face around. This is Megan. She's our new assistant manager, taking it's over from Greg. Uh, let's give her a round of applause. All right. Uh, want to tell us about yourself? Um, hi, I'm Megan, and I came from Pennsylvania, 
and I was actually the assistant manager at... Wait, wait, guys, guys, I just thought of something. Seeing how Greg just left, how about we throw him a little surprise party, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, you, you can sit down. Oh, you can sit thanks. Down. Uh, whoa, whoa. Not, not in that seat. That's Greg's old seat. We want to reserve the sanctity for a little bit. It's still a little raw that he left. Right. You don't touch there. Greg's seat. Uh, there's a seat okay. back there by Stacy. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, back to the party, guys. Okay. All right. So I was thinking, all right, we could bring like a surprise party, right? Well, we need some drinks there, so we can divide that amongst ourselves. Uh, ladies, I was thinking about you guys bring the food, you know, since you guys are good at that kind of stuff. I was thinking something festive, maybe a Fiesta taco bar? Wait, wait taco what, bar? what about the taco bar? Taco bar? I'm getting the yes, consensus taco of a taco bar. bar. Taco okay, bar. yeah, but, that out. but what about the lady, the, uh, you know, the female entertainment? Uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Coffee? No. Fine. Uh, Alright, so we'll, we'll work that out. Alright, we'll get a list among ourselves. This is going to be a... Greg deserves this, guys. He's going to be so happy. Right. Great, great meeting, guys. We did got a lot of work done. Alright, uh, Megan... Jerry, I brought you guys in here today. Uh, Jerry is not doing well with the whole transition between you and Greg. I mean, he's been having it's, it's these, awful. It's rough. He's been having these emotions. I mean, I'm not. I'm not good with emotions. I mean, you're a woman. Women. Women are good at that thing. Uh, Jerry, you know what? You want some oots potato sticks? I think that. Just I think. Might I think that might that help, might help you a little bit. bit. Thank you. Thank you. Just munch on those. Thank you. Calm you down. So he's. You know, he's kind of been acting like this, and like, acting kind of like a woman, you know, maybe. Oh. So you're here. Hey, ladies! Look who it is! You're back! What brings you around here, Greg? I'm going to get my paycheck today. Oh, of course. I think it's uh, right here. Hey, Toast, how's it going? How you been? That's uh, Megan. She's our new assistant manager. Hey, Megan, she's nice here. To meet you. Uh, I think you'll find it all there. What, what have you been doing lately? Oh, uh, just snowboarding, go hitting the Alps, Aww. all that kind of fun stuff. You know, yeah. gotta do wow. something with my money. Typical Greg. Typical, Typical that's Greg. Wow. I know, right? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So, Woo! 934 times and 58 cents! That's 20% more than I make. What the heck? I'm on this heck hole, snitches! Yep. Woo! <laughs> Don't leave us! Oh, man. Yeah, that's, that, that's why we miss them. Yeah, we, we were all attached to him, Jerry. Yeah, we all missed him. These might just help a little bit. Eat a little bit more of those. Hi, I'm Greg. Um, like to live life on the extreme. Love a snowboard, and I'm out of this heck hole! Hi, Stacy. Hey. Um, so I just had a question. Can you tell me about this Greg guy? It's a long story. You see, Greg. Greg? Ah. Oh. Where do I begin with this guy? Uh, Greg is just like, like the best person you'll ever meet. He snowboards, all right? He snowboards, imagine that. He also was the one that started uh, Casual Bottoms Day. You can wear, you know, like whatever pants you want, but you gotta, you gotta stay formal up top here, you know? You wanna keep that business attire. But Greg's the best. And then this one time, he came into ladies, work. Ladies, ladies, let's break it up here. It's not break time yet. All right, let's get back to work. Keep this a professional, you know, atmosphere. Yo, Mr. Jefferson, oh, you catch the game last night? What was that? I know, right? I mean, Timo was on fire, but those refs... The refs were the worst. They seriously? Couldn't, they couldn't see an elephant if it was four feet in front of their face. And painted neon green. I mean, oh my God. but I guess it is a football field, so it's already green. Do you want to get back to work? Come on, yeah. ladies. For reals. I have a feeling that there's a little apprehension towards me. Maybe if I introduce myself formally. Hi, I don't think I formally introduced myself. I'm Megan and... Oh my gosh, what's on your computer? Um, nothing. Uh, I'm Keith, by the way. Uh, say, do you want to grab me a coffee? No, I'm not the errand girl. <laughs> what ifs? I'll get Stacy to do it. I'll do it! Hi, I am, uh, Glenn. I'm the temp. I'll do anything to get ahead. Okay, fine. But you better not mess up my drink again. Got it, boss. That's Glenn, the temp. He does what we used to make Stacy do. You know, what a woman should do.
name's Keith Hansen. Uh, I used to work for Enron until 99. Got let go because of downsizing. I just turned her down. That's why she got rid of me. But anyways, I've been here for 12 years, and I love it. The working environment is all I could have asked for. I love getting to know my bros here. Yes, yeah, so that's the Keith Hansen. Hi, I'm Megan. I just wanted to formally introduce myself. Nice. Well, I gotta go make my rounds. Nice. My name is Dan Smith. I have worked at uh, FedEx, and I've been working here for five years. It's, it's been nice. Hey, uh, while you're in there, you want to make me a sandwich? Excuse me? Women. I tell ya, the attitude on that one, pfft, like to exercise my pimp hand, keep some snitches in line. Women thinking they belong in the workplace, but I wouldn't mind getting a piece of that. I tell you, it's so great having another woman in the office. So how long have you worked here? Fifteen years. Fifteen years, huh? Without a single raise or promotion. I came here with a master's in marketing. I applied for every position, and they gave me secretary. I tell you, it's that glass ceiling, huh? And it hurts when you hit it. Oh my gosh, why didn't you leave? I tried, but with the market crashing, I couldn't risk my family. I feel stuck. I mean, at least I have a job. Fifteen years with those credentials? What is this place? Yo, baby girl! Do you ever get the sense that, I don't know, there's like too much testosterone flowing around here? Are you kidding? Well, look at the guys in this office. Huh? You gonna mess up my coffee order again? No, boss, huh? no! Nice. Too. Yeah, just keep focusing on that paycheck. So I was going to ask you about something. So that Greg guy, I heard him talking, he gets 20% more than I do for doing the same job. Did he like get a raise or something? No, he was only here for like a month. Seriously? No, it's weird in this office. Everybody loved him, especially Mr. Jefferson. Oh no, being the only female in this office, you get a lot of risque comments. Seriously? I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I need this job, but is it worth it? Hey, ladies. Ah. Enjoying the film? Of course not. Because this is our movie! And Dr. Pepper 10 is our soda. It's only 10 manly calories, but with all 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper. It's what guys want, like this. Catchphrase. So you can keep the romantic comedies and lady drinks. We're good. Dr. Pepper 10, it's not for women! So how about the weather? It's oh, the nice. weather's been pretty, like, I mean, not unseasonably I mean, warm all Yeah. Right? Thank you. Can you guys hold the door Oh, oh shut it, shut it, shut it, shut it! Hi there. We had a lot of fun making this video today, but there's one thing that's not funny. Sexual harassment. According to the EEOC in 2010, there are over 11,700 sexual harassment claims, and that's not counting the ones that went unreported, which may be much, much more. Also, in 2010, sexual harassment claims came up to about $48.4 million settlements and lawsuits, a really big number in our economy today. And also, according to the Institute for Women's Research, we covered the pay gap, and they say there is a 77% pay gap, which means that women earn 77 cents per dollar with their male counterparts. What can be done about this? As for the pay gap, that is something steadily being reconciled, although not good enough. According to the Institute for Women's Research, this pay gap will not be closed at the rate it's going until the year 2056. As for sexual harassment, the best way to settle this is prevention, through the use of seminars and training programs. Hope you learned something from watching this video today and had a little bit of fun. I know we had some fun making it. 
As for all of us from Fort for Lee, we would like to wish you a happy holidays. I then work a bunch of fast food restaurants to save up money for business school. I took that money and invested it in Beanie Babies. Thought that was going to be the next big thing. Turned out it wasn't. So, lost a lot of money. Didn't really go to business school. I kind of told people I did. Uh, what, what was your question? <laughs>